Welcome to another DTS support video. Um, in this one, we're going to be doing some color matching between our Coda program and our Game Breaker Plus program. Um, because often you'll have, you know, Coda's typically done a live breakdown, and then you might go post game and do some more breakdown with the same buttons. And you want to sort your timeline and have everything line up. So we're going to talk about how a little bit, at least in this video, relation to color and naming your buttons so that you can get Coda and Game Breaker working together. Um, a, kind of a side note, normally what I have is uh, two, uh, a second monitor when I'm doing this. The monitor is just a, a, a PC monitor, if you want to call it that, a monitor as long as you have a, the correct connections can be plugged into your Apple, your Mac. So I have a VGA adapter and I plug that into my second monitor so it gives me a lot more real estate you can do that I use that when breaking down video it gives me a lot more real uh, real estate to work with so I usually have like my coda window on another monitor um, just to let you know that's something that's possible um, and gives you again more room to do what you need to do so here we go um, here's our coda window we built and our game breaker plus window we built um, and as a lot of things with Game Breaker and Coda, there's multiple ways of doing things. So here's a way I do it, and it might work for you. Um, first, uh, we do have the two built, obviously. Um, and so we have our game plan of what we want to have broken down. Now, um, kind of the master copy, I'll call it, will, for colors will be, in this way of doing things, will be our Game Breaker because that's where our timeline is going to be, that's where we're going to sort it, so it, it, this is going to be, we're going to base our Coda colors off of our Game Breaker colors, and hopefully when we put it together that'll make sense. Um, so you want to basically have your colors and your Game Breaker correct, and and not necessarily your Coda ones. So, now that we have our colors done here, as you can see, we're only going to be taking a couple buttons, our quality chance, you can see is yellow, and yellow, and then our, we want our forward shape, which you can see is um, two different colors and our back four shape which again two different colors so we want those to match up so we'll talk about that and then I'll show you something else um, regarding the naming of the buttons because you really want them to be the same which as you can see in our back four shape and back four shape they're two different names I'll show you the result in that hopefully we can then show a fix and the results of that so we have them both up we simply in, in Coda you click on your button click on colors that's the current color of our button all you got to do is clear it is click this magnifying glass now I'm gonna move this a little more over here click it and that'll match you might not have seen it too drastically in that got a little darker but forward shape you'll definitely see this the difference back four and really that that's it we're gonna do a set piece which gets a little darker. So you can see changes. Go ahead and save that. Um, now for my test, it's simply going to be, I'm going to do a, a dummy kind of coding just so that we get our lines in there. So you can see those are coded in there. We'll let this set piece get finished up. Um, and that shows our history of what's going on. All right, that's logged. We'll go ahead and stop that. Um, again, just for this is just for example sake, so kind of the naming conventions don't really matter. Which you'll see me shortly. There I am. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So here's our coding. So we did our quality chance forward shape, back four, set pieces, All right, okay, that's about it, so we'll go ahead and stop that capture, alright, here's the result from our game breaker window so far, and now we'll import our coda, for now we'll ignore the linking up stuff, which isn't 
really a big deal. Um, uh, but as you can see, there's our game breaker and there's the one. So what we'll do, here, sort and same color. But here you can see because the naming are different, they're kept in separate rows. That's why when you do a coda window and a game breaker plus window or any um, any sports code product, you want to have if you want these two to be put together, you'll want to have them names name the same. So we're going to go back and redo that, redo the capture, and hopefully that makes sense. So um, we'll take because I like that number in there. We'll go ahead and change that to back four and no I like this one everything matters as when you're trying to put them together so you have to have it spelled exactly the same meaning if you have four words plural you can't have four word shape so just pay attention to what your naming is so as you can see we've changed one name in Coda one in sports code we'll save it We'll start another session and what do we want to have we want to have forward shape we did and back four shape we did so we'll bring those two in now we'll replace that and again just for clarification this is not a typical um, capture workflow so that's why they're not going to line up I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes all right, forward shape, back four shape. All right, let's import XML from Coda. Oh, and again, you can see which is again interesting forward shape got put together we only have one instead of two lines but back four shape we still have as two different because these are in all caps and this is spelled differently but hopefully you get the idea forward shape spelled the same plural one row there'd be more clips here um, but these are still set because of that simple caps so um, all that really spelling makes a difference in bringing the two together but that's how you can match get your um, two windows between Coda and Game Breaker put together, uh, linked up, and then sorted properly. So I hope that makes sense. Um, again, any questions, please email support at dtsvideo.com um, or post comments. We're always looking to uh, help out people that are looking for questions. So um, that's a way we can do that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Till the next video, I'll see you.